All right, guys, welcome to PlayStation News, Rumors and Leaks. As always, thank you for taking the time out to watch the video. The timestamps are available in the description if you want to jump straight ahead to the bits that you're interested in, along with the links to the sites where the articles have come from. So we're starting off with a tease from the developers of Returnal, that's Housemark. They are teasing something which is about to happen tomorrow. Now, if you haven't played Returnal, you really are missing out on a classic PS5 game. It's amazing, unforgiving, roguelike, which for me is a must play. So Returnal was Housemark's first AAA style game from the small studio before being acquired by Sony. And since their acquisition by Sony, they are no longer a small studio making games. They are making or focusing on bigger AAA style games. They've heavily been recruiting developers for their studio since the release of Returnal in 2021 for a new AAA project that they've been working on for quite some time now. And while many people did speculate earlier in 2022 and in 2023 that Housemark's next game was Returnal 2, one of the senior development teams did come out and say that their next game actually was not Returnal 2 and that Returnal 2 is something that they will revisit in the near future. So the jury is still out on what their next AAA game actually is going to be about. However, Housemark today have posted a cryptic tweet teasing something special for tomorrow. The team out in Finland uploaded a black and white image seemingly featuring Returnal protagonist Celine's eyes reflected onto some broken shards of glass, then teasing news tomorrow in yellow font. Tomorrow, 30th of April 2024, marks the three-year anniversary of Returnal's release on the PlayStation 5. That's probably enough time for the developer to have a new game ready to show us. But an uh, announcement is usually saved for significant events like a PlayStation Showcase or the Summer Game Fest, or maybe the Game Awards towards the tail end of the year. As such, given the relevance of tomorrow's date, the news is more likely going to do something to do with a development documentary or a development diary of some kind, similar to what Naughty Dog has done before with its two Last of Us games. Returnal released in 2021 and continues to be one of the PlayStation 5 generation's biggest highlights so far, with a very fast-paced roguelike gameplay loop pleasing many Housemark fans. Returnal scored impressively when it released on the PS5 in 2021 and achieved typically an 8 or a 9 out of 10 on most review sites and currently sits at an 86 critic review on on the Metacritic site, which considering this was Housemark's first attempt at a major AAA style game, is quite amazing. Hopefully they can give us an update as to what the studio has got planned for their next game. If nothing else, it would be good to get a, a dev diary from them too, and a bit of an update as to what's been happening at the studio. Moving on to more Silent Hill reports coming through, and Bloober Team has said that it's very confident in its upcoming Silent Hill 2 remake game. As part of the studio's annual report, the team claimed that it is very confident about the final result. They go on to say that we don't hide it internally or externally. This is the most important test of our actions. The Silent Hill 2 remake has been the subject of much debate since its announcement. And a second trailer in January 2024, which focused on combat, did nothing to quell it. The second trailer proved divisive as it currently sits at a 51% likes to dislikes ratio on YouTube. Certainly a mixed bag with a lot of gamers following the release of that trailer earlier in January. The following month, Bloober Team President Piotr Biabiano said that the trailer does not reflect the spirit of the game, saying that the marketing side of things was Konami's responsibility. It is not the spirit of either what it used to be or what we are creating now, Biabiano said. We're really trying to reflect this romantic vision about the game, which debuted 22 years ago. We think that when players see the real gameplay and the real game, they will judge it in a completely different way. A screenshot of the game that was recently added to the back end of the game's Steam database page appears to show that Bluebird Team has given its protagonist a makeover to make him look a lot younger. It seems as though we're getting more and more information about leaks or snippets of information coming through more regularly now about Silent Hill 2, as if something is about to happen. Last week, we had rumors about the Silent Hill game uh, reveal date confirmation coming soon. This week, we have developers coming out saying that they're very confident presumably in the way the game looks and plays although we really need to get a gameplay reveal soon especially if it's supposed to be releasing this year anyway hopefully sony can lay on a showcase within the next couple of weeks and put on some gameplay trailers for us and show us what's coming up over the next couple of years along with the release date for many of the games that are supposedly coming out this year including silent hill 2 remake okay let's move along so as you can imagine fallout right 
now everyone's going crazy about it especially since the the next gen update came out for the playstation and for the uh, the xbox and obviously the success of the tv series and you can imagine to no one's surprise the tv series has been renewed for season two though the older titles like fallout 76 and fallout 4 have received some impressive bumps in player numbers as well and with fallout 4 celebrating its next gen update it wouldn't be surprising if Microsoft is thinking of ways to capitalize on the show and game's recent success. And who would blame them? Anyone running a business or associated with Fallout right now should be utilizing this time right now to capitalize during its hype. Microsoft allegedly are talking about releasing their next Fallout title in the series sooner rather than later. This is according to Jess Corden of Windows Central, who said on the Xbox 2 podcast, they're currently formulating plans on how to get the next Fallout out here for us sooner rather than later when asked who would develop the title he added that's what they're talking about right now from what i understand obsidian entertainment of fallout new vegas fame was theorized or even a separate team from the main bethesda game studio who are currently working on starfield and the elder scrolls 6 games of course as noted nothing is official and plans could easily change however it does add a bit more to the discussion on whether bethesda should have worked on fallout 5 instead of starfield director todd howard did confirm a sequel would happen at some point but only after the launch of elder scrolls 6 which let's be honest is still many years away and having recently dived back into fallout 4 i have to say i would welcome fallout 5 sooner rather than later. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments about today's topics. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next PlayStation News, Rumors and Leaks video.